Hello, my viewers. I got a question in my email some time ago that I'd like to be able to answer, and it's in regards to tools. And the question is, for the most part, what are the most five, okay, uh, most important tools or valuable tools or something like that? Well, the really, if I have to reduce it down to the most important five, um, you're not going to be able to do any kind of refrigeration work. Meaning, you know, don't even, don't even put a set of gauges on it because you're not going to have any because that's not one of the top five. And if you want to know what they are, they're right here. The top five are a screwdriver, okay, uh, that has the ability to uh, hold nut driver type bits and everything, and a little secret compartment here for your other bits. That's number one. Number two would be, well, if I have to say number two, it would actually be the multimeter. Because without the multimeter, you're not going to be able to do a whole lot. Um, and it really needs to have a setting for um, your, so you can re test run capacitors, so they'd be for, for uh, microfarad. And uh, of course, you want to be able to test uh, your ohms, okay? And you want to be able to test your voltage. And this is for continuity right here. So, you know, and also temperature, by the way. See, right way down there, right like that. So you want to be able to have the capability to test a lot of different things. Now, another item that's important would be um, a wire cutter slash crimping tool okay now I really prefer to have a separate wire stripper and wire cutter and crimping tool than just one of these the, these this is one of them deals that I, it'll get you by in a tight spot but if you have to call one tool there it is another would be just a regular adjustable wrench right here a good one that is not something cheesy but a really good one that would adjust way out like like this one will this one will, will actually adjust um, pretty far really it's um let's see way out there yeah see this one right here will adjust pretty far and it's pretty thin so you can actually use it to uh, remove uh, power heads off of TXVs. Now here's another important one. It's a pen and paper. And of course if you don't have paper you can use a napkin like this one. And there you have the most important five tools that an HVAC technician can have. Because without those tools you're not going to be able to do much of anything. Now, uh, really, I mean, I thought about it. I mean, it would take at least 50 tools, okay, to make sense of all this, really. I mean, to, to, uh, to narrow it down to five is, well, a bit ridiculous because you're just not going to be able to have much on your truck to work with. Also, I've been getting a lot of email about what I think about Nate certification. And I think Nate certification is pretty much of a necessity if you're working for, say, an HVAC contractor. And mainly because that's what they want you to have. You can feel around and, and see what they think. Uh, but And of course, there's a lot of discussion around the internet whether certain people think it's necessary or not and uh, but my opinion is that um, 
if you're looking for a job as an HVAC technician, it's just something to have uh, under your belt, you might say, uh, for your resume. So that's my opinion.